Hello and welcome back to the Robot Studio for Home Story Series. In this video, I'm going to be making a cargo system. So you collect cargo, you deliver it, and you get money. Quite simple. And so yeah, just before we start, please make sure to subscribe. Um, as time of recording this, we're so close to 700 subscribers. But overall, we're getting close to a thousand subscribers. So if you could help me get there by the end of the year, I would really appreciate it. Anyway, so the first thing you want to do is make a cargo part. So inside of here I've made a group called cargo job and here cargo part. So um just make it maybe like four by four by four and customize it as you want. And then add in a proximity prompt. So the action text I've done as take box and the object text is cargo. And then just obviously customize it. I've done the UI offset 25Y so up and so it's just like slightly above instead of stuck in the block and then inside of here we're going to add in a script so make sure you want to if you want to copy this down so the variables is local prp which is proximity prompt which is just script dot parent and then local cargo is game dot service storage dot cargo which will we're just going to add in a second and then prp dot triggered so once you once it's triggered, once the proximity prompt is triggered, then connect to function player, then cargo, which is this, you're going to clone it, and then you're going to move it from server storage into the player's backpack. We're also going to add in a ball value into starter player, and then this just disables the proximity prompt after you've done it, so you can't constantly do it. Okay, so um, so that's that script, and now we're just going to go to, through a few of them. So to make the the one in server storage, if you just want to go to this part, um, duplicate it, and then just set the size to two 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 because then it fits into the hand of the player. And now we're going to go to server storage, add in the tool, and then put this put the the, the, the part into server storage into the tool and name it handle and put uh, make sure it's not anchored, make sure nothing's inside of it. And make sure there's no scripts. Name this cargo and then this handle. Or name it whatever you want, I guess. Just make sure you change it in the scripts. And now once we no, now we've done that, we're going to go to start the player inside of here. There is a bool value called cargo. And then so obviously that's false at the moment because we don't have it. That's the same with the pizza. But once we once we do the proximity prompt, we it will be set to true. And then so if we go to here. This part is you go up to it. So this one is actually a hundred Y up. So it's like up here. Y up. Oh. And then yeah, obviously I've done hand in cargo and then the script is local local cargo is game dot server storage dot cargo, which is what we've just made in server storage. Then the local proximity prompt is script or parent again. And so we could actually just change this to PRP make it a bit easier. So once it's called once it's triggered, connect to function player, and then if game.startplayer.cargo.value equals equals true, which is the value in start play we've just added, then the player dot leave stats dot money dot value equals that plus that which we could always just actually I think it's the other way around. So plus equals twenty five. Make it a bit simpler. Then game dot starter player dot cargo dot value equals false, which is in starter player, so you don't so you no longer have the value. Then cargo dot parent equals game, so you go back into the game dot server storage. And then wait 15 seconds, then script dot parent dot parent dot parent. So script dot parent dot parent dot parent, so to the model. Then dot cargo part dot proximity prompt dot enable equals true after. It, it's up to you. You can set it as after 20 seconds, 15 seconds, no seconds if you want. Like it's just once it's done. Up. So yeah, I think um, yeah, and we're just going to try that out to make sure it works. Okay, so you're going to walk up to here, cargo, take box, we're going to take this. And then here, you can see cargo and it works. It's a good-ish size, you can always do a 1-1-1. One, one, one. And there's no, there's no um, welds in it and it's not anchored so I can just, you know, otherwise I would be teleported back there. And so we're going to go up to here. You don't have to have it 
the, the point of the value is that you can have it in your hand if you want and it's not just in your backpack so yeah but we're just going to hand in the cargo and it goes and we get 25 and obviously you can change that in the script if you want so you can go to uh, I think it's this script no it's this script and just change this to a value or even make it easier maybe go local price or no, yeah local for local price equals like 25 and then just do plus price just like that it's quite easy and then it's just like if you have loads of it like loads of script you don't have to go for it you can just change it there but I'm not going to at the moment and so there we go that's the that's the end of this video I hope you found this video helpful if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe and um, yeah we are almost at a 700 or a thousand subscribers so please make sure you subscribe i put loads of time into these videos and i'd really appreciate it if you'd take the time to subscribe or even like the video or share it to a friend and so yeah i've done a massive series about this brookhaven making your own game like brookhaven a town city kind of game and we are on we are almost at part 30 i think we're close and uh so yeah that is the end of this video and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.